It was a weekend of celebrations from Seattle to Chicago, New York, and Houston. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people were celebrating their pride across the entire country, and they had a lot to celebrate after the Supreme Court ruled states must allow same-sex marriage. Caitlyn Jenner took part in an event in New York, Voss Events, posting on Instagram, looking gorgeous at our pride finale, Caitlyn Jenner. But some states... They are still resisting issuing marriage licenses to same-sex couples. Texas County clerks were told, quote, religious freedom allows them to refuse issuing marriage licenses. Mississippi Attorney General Jim Hood said the decision is not yet effective in Mississippi. And in Alabama, two counties are not issuing marriage licenses to anybody, gay or straight. Civil trial attorney Richard Freeman is here with us. Richard, thank you so much for being here. Are there roadblocks Absolutely. for this uh, ruling, Richard? I'm sorry, is there, say that are one there, more time. Are there roadblocks for this ruling? Can they there claim are, religious should, freedom here? Yasmin, there should not be any roadblocks to this ruling because the Supreme Court has ruled this is a nation of laws. The supremacy clause in the Constitution has been held for 200 years now to govern and to provide that uh, federal laws supersede state laws when there's a conflict. The Supreme Court has made this definitive ruling, and whether a person on the street, a county clerk, an AG of a particular state, or a governor doesn't like the decision and thinks it's flawed, as the Texas AG has said, is utterly irrelevant, uh, because the Supreme Court is, has the final decision, and the ish, opinion by the Texas AG is simply uh, misguided and will be uh, rejected. And to subject these Texas clerks to lawsuits mm -hmm. is just extraordinarily uh, irresponsible on his part. Richard, we have laws that bar discrimination based on race, religion, sex, and national origin. And in 22 states, uh, they ban discrimination based on sexual orientation. Can we create similar laws banning discrimination based on sexual orientation that close the loophole, Richard, on uh, that religious liberty? There can be such laws, obviously, in, on a state-by-state -state basis. Um, but the fact of the matter is this decision does govern in this situation. Mm -hmm. We can't have people say that because I want to uh, uh, assert my religious rights, I don't want to file federal taxes. I, I want to assert my religious rights, so I want to have sex on the streets. We can't have people s asserting their subjective religious rights as a ground for violating uh, the law of okay, the land. But, but, but to be fair, federal taxes and sex on the streets is different than per se, uh, someone not necessarily believing in, in, in a man and a man being able to get married or, 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 or a lesbian couple being able to be, get married. I mean, I think that's somewhat of a, of a stretch of a comparison, don't you think? Well, not entirely, because if you're a county clerk, your job is to comply with the laws of that state. Mm -hmm. And the laws of the state cannot be overridden by the are overridden by the federal government. Here, the Supreme Court has ruled. So for any AG, whether in Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, or anywhere else, to say we're evaluating the decision, we're not sure if we're going to enforce the decision, is simply irresponsible. It's a delay tactic. It won't be tolerated. Certainly, the, states, the statutes that you're alluding to, Yasmin, mm -hmm. could be promulgated. But my point is they are not necessary to promote, to allow, to mandate same-sex marriage in every state in the union. That's but, been decided last Thursday. There really is nothing to talk about on that s discrete issue. But, but the government can't make laws, per se, to force religious institutions or churches to allow gay couples to get married in churches. I mean, there is a ch separation of church and state in this country, right? There's a ch separation of church and state. So what that means, of course, is that the, the government can establish a religion. It can't decide that it wants to promote Protestantism or Catholicism or Islam or Judaism. That's what the um, establishment, you know, the, the, the constitutional prohibition against establishment of religion is. But this is very different. What this is saying is the law of the land is that people cannot be prevented from being married based on being different races, mm -hmm. based on being different religions, mm -hmm. and based on being different, uh, the same sex. Mm -hmm. We had a situation, as you know, six, up until 60 years ago, where some states didn't even allow uh, people of different races to get married. Yeah. And those were, those statutes were invalidated. Now the Supreme Court has ruled that people of different religions and people of different uh, races are the same as people of the sa of same sexes. They all can be married anywhere in the country. Richard Friedman, thanks so much for weighing in. Thank you, Yasmin.